Uh, thanks, Zach. Uh, I'll probably set the context and I'll let Prabhu do the sort of demo. Uh, we are a uh, we are a business that enables and helps other fintechs to go out and build products and put out in the market. Uh, so we think of us as a layer that sits between banks and businesses. In most emerging markets that we operate, uh, you don't you cannot go out and build your own fintech product. You have to necessarily work with banks. Uh, that's where our role comes in. Uh, think of us as somebody between Mercata in the US and Clay. Uh, so we enable we run, we run and process our own transactions. Uh, we extend the processing assets to uh, fintechs who are looking to actually adopt uh, payment products and solutions. Uh, today on the demo, Prabhu is going to sort of show some of our APA assets, uh, which broadly sort of uh, covers uh, both uh, a new banking capability in the form of booking, uh, you know, term deposit, and issuing a programmable sort of credit card product on top of it. Right, that's what we are uh, looking to demo. Uh, we can take in questions at the end, and we also have. Uh, you know, capability sets that are there where we could, you know, orchestrate an entire sort of bank, retail bank function uh, on our platform. Uh, the platform today is used by almost about 300 of fintechs in India. Uh, we are an Asia focused business. We are currently present in about five, seven markets. Over to you, Prabhu. Thank you, Madhu. Yeah. Hi, guys. Uh, thank you for uh, having us here. So uh, this is our online documentation. This is still in uh, beta. Uh, we are uh, getting a sandbox available online very soon uh, for everybody to kind of play around with the APIs. So uh, I'm just, I do have a Postman collection, but I thought like this would be, uh, you know, much more uh, relevant to kind of uh, showcase here. So uh, we have uh, product functions across, uh, you know, uh, as Madhu mentioned, we have product fun uh, functions across various different uh, payment products uh, from wallet and card issuing to uh, multi-currency travel to the neo banking layer. Uh, so what we have done uh, here is that uh, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, a customer journey, uh, let's say, for example, uh, uh, if we would like to kind of uh, onboard a customer into a, a bank uh, for issuing a credit card, or uh, issuing an account or uh, any any such uh, instrument, uh, there is an onboarding process uh, which involves collecting the data of the customer, uh, performing the KYC, uh, answering a few questions. Uh, and then in terms of card issuance, there is a card that's uh, required to be registered. Uh, so there are several functions like this. So what we have done is we have, uh, you know, uh, cut these into pieces and had uh, we have come up with APIs that are simpler to integrate and uh, very straightforward to kind of uh, set in the existing context of every application that you're building. So we do not uh, offer products directly. We co-create products with uh, fintechs who would like to go and launch uh, you know, their own branded products. Uh, with that said, I would uh, just show uh, you know, how the uh, uh, Paisa Bazaar step up card uh, is kind of uh, powered by us. So Paisa Baza step up credit card is basically a card that is uh, in the US, there is a concept called credit builder card. It's basically for people who are, uh, who do not have a credit score, who would like to establish, who are new to the market or new to the uh, economy. So uh, who'd like to establish a credit score, uh, build a credit score for their own, uh, uh, you know, uh, their own profile. So uh, applying for this credit card is pretty, very simple. It's as, as easy as you know, going and applying for an email ID. So you just enter the basic details, uh, your date of birth. And in India, there is a PAN, which is uh, uh, required for any uh, accessing any financial uh, services product. So enter the PAN and uh, uh, enter the mobile number. So uh, what happens here is that immediately after the mobile number is entered, first first things first, we will have to verify the mobile number. So we do have an API for specifically generating OTP for that mobile number. And then once the OTP is kind of verified, uh, the next step is to kind of go ahead with, uh, you know, uh, verifying the uh, uh, identity of the user for which we can, uh, in India, there is a concept called Aadhaar, which is very similar to SSN in the US. Uh, we uh, call that API, I mean, like we collect the data, call the relevant APIs uh, from the backend uh, and get the information back from the uh, bureau, right? So for, for this, 
there are a couple of steps that that are involved um, after the number is entered there's a captcha that is required to be uh, punched in and then the user has to enter a share code and then once the uh, you know once this is done uh, again there is another otp that is required by the uh, uidai so once we have that punched in the data that is pulled from the bureau or from the uh, uh, you know, from the uh, data store is shown to us for approval. So once we review it and uh, are okay with it, we just set other data that is required, like setting up a nominee uh, for the specific account. Yeah, so this is the key here. So what happens is that since this is a step up card, since this is a, a card that is linked to a fixed deposit, if you see here, we'll have to book a fixed deposit from one of the accounts that the user owns, right? So based on the amount of fixed deposit that they uh, park in the account, 80% uh, of which would be offered as a credit limit to begin with. And then as they build their credit score, it, the limit can be enhanced by the bank or, or by the, uh, um, you know, by the co-brand partner. And then the, you know, user has a healthy credit score over a period of time. So for this, we do a penny drop kind of a, a process where we collect the IFSC code account number of the user. And then we do a verification check uh, by doing a penny drop into the account. Uh, we use UPI for this uh, process. We just uh, verify whether the UPI ID, which is used for doing the penny drop, returns the same data as uh, what the uh, user has entered as the account number in the previous screen. <laughs> Voila, that's it. So the account is kind of set up it's uh, the FD is booked uh, and the card is kind of ready to be uh, issued, right? In the back end, so I'll just go back to the uh, other screen where uh, we do have the APIs that are working in, in the back end for this. So as soon as this entire piece of information is keyed in from the other uh, set of screens, we have a response that uh, the customer's account has been created and uh, the card is ready to be issued. And then we go ahead and set the user's password. Yes, so once this is done, the user is ready to download the app and uh, proceed with, uh, you know, uh, using their card for you know various purchases and other stuff so um, again there are several other apis like uh, you know checking balance on the card or uh, they can link multiple cards add an add on card uh, do card management services like locking or unlocking the card i i can quickly log into my account and show those features as well so this is the account that i recently set up so there is a limit of 10,000 rupees that's available. Uh, the fixed deposit that I had booked is available over here. The details of the fixed deposit, the maturity and all the other details are over here. And if at all you want, you would want to redeem this fixed deposit, which account will the uh, you know redemption amount be deposited to is mentioned over here. And the nominee details that I had mentioned are right over here. And then since this is a credit card, uh, we offer both virtual and physical uh, options for the uh, user. So if you'd like to uh, see the uh, virtual card, there is an option to uh, open it real time. Over here, you see all the details of the card. And once this is, uh, once this is displayed, uh, that's it. You can go to any website, any uh, any e-commerce merchant and uh, start purchasing, start using the card. 
And then there are several other controls like, uh, you know, managing the use, uh, managing the card, like you can set your preferences, you can disable the card uh, from uh, contactless transactions or ATM transactions, you can set uh, based on specific, uh, you know, channels like a point of sale or ATMs, you can set limits, you may not want to use the card for withdrawal at all, so you can set it as zero. And then uh, you can have daily usage limit set up. And uh, there are other options like uh, card statement. Again, for card statement, it's completely programmable. Uh, so the statement can be obtained as a PDF where you just enter the customer ID and the statement month that is required and you get the uh, PDF as a response. Or uh, if you have your own front ends, uh, the same request can be punched in and the response is obtained as a JSON, which, which can be portrayed in any which way or with your own branding as well. Right, I'd, I'd request you guys to kind of uh, browse through the uh, documentation and come up with any questions, any suggestions that may help us uh, strengthen the documentation would be most welcome. And uh, as soon as we have the, uh, we roll out the online sandbox out to the, uh, uh, you know, uh, out to the entire public, we'll let you guys know, uh, happy to take feedback and uh, kind of build this into a stronger product. So that is what I have over here. Uh, any, any questions?